Welcome back everyone to WWE 2K16. My apologies, I goofed up and I messed up an episode. Uh, so you don't get to see me in Hell in a Cell. It was a really cool match. Here's what you missed. Basically, Seth Rollins kept interrupting my matches. I did a lot of work off camera to get up to Hell in a Cell. And in that time, Seth Rollins kept interrupting my matches, like trying to help me, I guess. I never used his help. He was just there for moral support, I guess. And I could have requested his help, I think, if I wanted to, or if I remembered the button on how to do that. Um, but anyways, and then eventually, in the last two times he interrupted me, he was being chased by Ryback. And it was one of the funniest things ever, because Seth Rollins, like, stumbling and tripping, tripping all over the place. And so anyways, at Hell in a Cell, we had a tag team matchup with me and Seth Rollins against Ryback and Dolph Ziggler. Here's what's funny. There were no tags made in the entire match. I beat Dolph's, uh, I beat Ryback by myself, and then I had I had to hit Dolph Ziggler off the ring um, to, to pin him, but it was a perfect match. Like, no tags were made. It was interesting. So, however, now we're in a matchup on SmackDown with the one and only Dean Ambrose, Mr. Dirty Deeds. So let's check with the authority what we need to do. Win your match with red head health. How do I control that? I guess I just have to let him beat me up. I'm not really worried about that. 400 SP is a lot, but I'm not worried about that in the slightest. I have 2,800 SP. What am I saving up for? Let's check real quick. What am I saving up for again? I can't remember. I mean, an OMG moment is what I'd like. Um, I can't get the through the table one. That's 45. Oh, that's VC. That's VC. Okay, so I need to save up my VC. I spent VC and I should not have. Um, abilities. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought I had unlocked that. I guess I didn't. Um, I can unlock Move Thief 2. That would get rid of all of my SP. And then I can, I can use their move two times in a match. I don't really want to do that, though. Uh, so let's go to Attributes, I guess. And let's figure out some stuff that we want to do there. I'd like, um, I'd like movement speed to be up a little bit. I'd like agility to be up because I want to climb that turnbuckle faster. Let's maximize that. How funny would that be? Have that maximized. Let's up our strength a little bit. Um, stamina is good. Stamina is really good. Uh, chain wrestling we're okay with. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm not sure which submission thing I'm I'm using, so I'm not really worried about it. I don't really use it that often. Um, pin escape. No, I haven't been getting pinned. Although I do need to start putting points into that because I am going to... Oh, let's up reversal. I am going to up the difficulty someday soon. Maybe after I get the belt. I'll, uh, I'll up the difficulty after I get the US belt. Uh, so there we go. We got our upgrades. Let's go fight Dean Ambrose. Now, why are these highlighted? Are these ones that I could interrupt if I wanted to? Ooh, I could. Mark Henry versus Triple H. Adam Rose versus Brock, Brock Lesnar. Poor guy. Neville Batista and The Rock. Undertaker versus Sting. <gasps> Followed up by Kevin Owens versus Daniel Bryan. How is Undertaker and Steam not the headline? Whatever, whatever. Let's just, let's get to our match. Oh, by the way, I had realized, uh, remember how I decided, or maybe it was in that episode I announced, I've decided I'm going to sing the entrances for their entrances just to be funny. So I'm glad that didn't, I'm glad the last video did mess up because I would have had to have recorded me singing uh, Dolph Ziggler's, uh, Ryback's, and Seth Rollins all at once, like in the same, like for the same video. And I don't know that I have the energy for that. So here we go, let's take it away. I can almost guarantee it. Clearly, this SmackDown crowd can't wait for 
this one to get started. Dean Ambrose, Mr. Dirty Deeds. Let's see what you got. You put on an, less, an okay, less than stellar match against Brock Lesnar one time. Let's see how you do against me. He's back. Rollins is back. Of course. I mean, it fits. He would interrupt Dean Ambrose's match. <laughs> Suplex time. Up and down. So yeah, Seth Rollins is down there. I think there's a way for me to like call for his help or something. I'm not really sure. We're going to do a number on Dean Ambrose. We're not going to do the authority's bidding. And that's the other part of it was Seth Rollins is with the authority. And so be because of that, oh, good reversal, Dean. Because of that, Dean Ambrose, or sorry, because of that, the questions that uh, Renee asked me afterwards were stuff about the authority. And I'm like, no, I'm not with the authority. Like Seth Rollins, like I was basically like, Seth Rollins is fine helping me, but I'm my own person was kind of what I said. And it was great. Do a little stop. There we go. How about I end it with his head on red? That sounds like a better idea to me. Oh man, I want that OMG moment so bad. Seth, I really don't need you, buddy. I really don't. You can just go back. I appreciate it. Actually, you know, if I were to pick someone to be my my sidekick, Seth Rollins would be one of my top three choices. Um, all right, let's toss him up in the air a little bit. and <laughs> That one doesn't get old. Uh, in fact, I'm going to do it again here in a second. It's too funny. I think you should get some points for repeating a move like back-to-back. -back. I think that's funny. You know what I mean? Yeah, I need to up the difficulty. This is the, This is getting too easy now. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but I'll take it. Okay. There we go. We got that one. Got that one. Good. Got it. Yes. Oh, I love my new, my legit Microsoft Xbox controller. Before I got this, I was using like, you know, a, a good, I really like it, but, a, but an off-brand one. This one just feels so much better. Uh, did I do a knee bomb already? Here's another one. Um... But yeah, this one, the vibration feels better, specifically. All right, let's do a little taunt, get some stamina up. I'm not wasting time. Look at him. He's down on the ground. All right, let's do what I was trying to do earlier. Oh, that didn't do what I wanted it to do, but I'll take it. Totally forgot that was a thing. There's so many moves that I don't do because I forget about, like, how to get to them. How was that? Did I just lose points for move variety, or was that because I didn't hold it long enough? Oh, good reversal, good reversal. I got one of my own. <laughs> Do some stomps. Do some stomps. Yeah. Yeah. And I did, by the way, I changed some moves. I think. I think they got saved. Oh, I got my special. Nice. But yeah, I changed some moves around. Like, I don't have the alligator roll anymore. I think I've done this one already. That's all right. No, I have not done this one, I don't think. When you think of the time Dean Ambrose took to create his No, I guess I have. Summary, if you will. The Dirty Deeds is a finisher that reflects Ambrose entering offensive form. Uh-huh. What am I doing? What am I doing? Out of nowhere. Oh, oh yeah, this thing. <laughs> the one out of character move that I have. The force of the Dirty Deeds finishing move, courtesy. All right, here we go. Time for a special. Oh, get up. Get up, son. Or signature. I love the smacks. All right, let's see how fast I climb up the top rope. I should get a finisher from the top rope. Or from the middle rope, I guess. <laughs> Let's do this number. And I should have a different thing here. Oh, okay. This again. Alright, that's fine. 
Gotta get him. Oh, I'm not good at that. Let's charge the finisher. We got his neck nice and soft that we can just grab it and squeeze the jugular. We're going to end this with the dirty deeds, though. We're going to end it with the dirty deeds. So we're going to get around to our next uh, to our next finisher. And do a dirty deeds. Let's do a little taunting. We need to get him in the corner. That's what we need to do. Him up. Corner, please. It's hard to get it perfectly in the corner. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. I had always done the German suplex from that. But if you hold... Um, the button it does that instead. All right, let's turn them around. I gotta tell you, these guys are in the best shape I've ever seen. Get them up, in. up. Do a little superplex action. My stamina is not great, but it's enough to do this. Here we go. Yes. Then we're gonna do the little stomp thingy. <laughs> superplex. Do 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 do. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching SmackDown, the second longest running weekly episodic television really? program. Really? SmackDown is the second longest, longest running, obviously behind Raw. I just, not that that's that surprising, but I didn't realize that. All right, let's flip him upside down, do our little stomp just for Hill Dragon. There we go. There we go. Uh huh. Twist his legs up. My favorite thing apart this move is. My, my favorite part about this move, my, my favorite thing apart, my th favorite thing about this move is the fact that they sit up to make it happen. All right, so we got our signature. Pick him up, come on. That's not what I wanted to do, but I'll take it. Gonna reach that back some? Reach that back some. Yeah. Good, good, good. Seth is just kind of standing there. Pick him up. I could prob probably pin him now, but not gonna do it. All right, I'm kind of out of stamina. That's all right. Signature. Signature when you're ready. There we go. For the victory. All right. Get some stamina up. We're going to do some dirty deeds. Do some dirty deeds. Actually, let's um, let's do one more thing to him or one or two more. I want to, I want to try to get this to be a four-star match. There's no reason why it can't be. Oh, I love this. I love this. Loop de loop. He's taking damage to the back of the head that render most men completely uh -huh. immobile. And he may All right, let's do a spear if I can. Out of my way, ref. Ref, that was your fault. That was your fault, ref, not mine. Your fault. All right, here we go. Dirty deeds time. Once I get my finisher up, there we go. His head doesn't even really fit where it needs to. <laughs> it's just a DDT, but it's, it's cool. All right, let's go for the pin. Let's end it. It's not going to be a four-star match, but that's okay. Nice. Very good. I'll take it. <laughs> I just want to see the dirty deeds. Oh, did I skip all of them? One press of the button and it skips all of the replays. That hasn't happened before. Got it, buddy. Got it. All right. Bray Wyatt likes me more. Eric Rowan likes me more. See, that's one aspect of this game that I would love to see added is not just getting a tag team partner, but joining factions like joining the Wyatt family. And having that create its own storyline and stuff like that. That'd be cool. Seamus likes me. I can live without that. But Brock Lesnar liking me. Now that seems like it should be very difficult to accomplish. Please join me in welcoming my guest tonight. Hi, Renee. Let's talk about Seth Rollins. It seems like you two are getting along. Could this be a formation of a new tag team? No, you've asked me this already. I'm kind of like nodding my head yes, but the answer is no. I'm my own person. Uh, I'm focused on my singles career. I've heard the rumors, but that is just not the case right now. I'm focused on my singles matchups and nothing else. Maybe some other time though. For now, I'm all about that WWE championship. Well, the US title technically, but yeah, eventually, eventually. Let's talk about what happened out there tonight. The landscape in WWE is wide open right now. What's next for you? 
the US title. Hopefully. I've got my eyes on the prize. I don't need an agenda. I got my eyes on the prize. I've got my eye on the prize. A WWE championship. I turned face. Those guys at the top better watch cool. out because I'm gunning for them. I'm getting better and better each day, each match. I've not even reached my peak, and that's a scary thought. Nice. Turn face. Oh, yeah. There you have it. Back to you, Cole. Bye, Renee. Your rank increased. I'm up to number seven now. Next on the list is Cesaro. Oh man, I want to match with Cesaro. Damien's Mizdow. I honestly don't even know who that is. He's kind of fallen off the face of the earth, as is Curtis Axel. And I say that, they're probably in some matches. I just don't see him because they're cut from the Hulu edit or something like that. So, awesome. This is exciting. Uh, I'm curious what the next authorities thing is. Let's go ahead and simulate to the next event. Who won? Undertaker beat Sting. And Daniel Bryan beat Kevin Owens. <clears throat> Interesting. All right, so superstars next time. Bam. <laughs> <laughs>